Hey YouTube users, this is Kevrave7 and today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure static frame relay. Um, it's probably going to be a uh, four part tutorial. Um, after this tutorial I'll show you how to do uh, sub interfaces on frame relay. Um, but for now let's just uh, stick to static frame relay. So what I've done is, um, all I've done so far is configure the RP addresses on each interface. Uh, what I still need to do is configure rep version 2 um and configure uh static frame relays on the routers so so everything can work and then finally what i'm going to do is show you how to configure the clouds so this can all work and uh all the information's here you can see like uh router 3 del c89 will map to 102 uh 10.0.0.2 which will map to r1 but um just stick with me um i'm going to try work as slow as i can uh, this is pretty complicated stuff, so I suggest that you do some reading up on it too. Okay, so let's start by configuring rep. Um, so you should all probably be familiar with rep by now, but if you aren't, um, I will have a link to a tutorial that you can look at. Um, and I'll show you a little bit about RIP. Okay, so that's router 3 is configured for RIP. Let's do router 1 quickly. So exit uh, router RIP version 2. Uh, then you say, then you tell RIP the networks, which is 10.0.0.0 and uh, network uh, 192.168.3.0, which is over here. And the final network is over here, which is network 209.168.1.1. Okay, so that's router 1 configured for RIP. And then finally, we need to just do router 2 for RIP. Okay. Oops. Conf T, router RIP version 2. Um, and oh, then we specify the networks, obviously. Had a misfire there for a second. And again, network 192.168.2.0. Let's just do no order summary just in case there's any contiguous networks. Okay, so RIP's all set up. Now I'm going to show you how to do static frame relay. So here's, here's the DELC number for R3, and the DELC number has local significance. Um, it's given to you by your uh, service provider. And um, all it really does is it maps a destination um, IP address to the DLC. So it says, hey, to get to 10.0.0.2, use DLC 89 um, when you're doing static frame relays. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay. So R3. So you select the interface that you want to encapsulate frame that you want frame relay to work on so in our case it's serial uh, three zero and you can see that over here all the information is over here okay then you say encapsulation frame relay okay then you say frame relay map Wait, now this is important when you when you're doing static uh, frame relays map map this rp uh, to 10.0.0.2 which is the destination IP address so the destination IP address for R3 is 10.0.0.2 and the del C number that we're going to use is 89 which is specified over here and finally you want to say broadcast and the reason you say broadcast is because uh, by default frame relay uses split horizon which prevents any uh, um, writing updates from going out, it can re re receive information, but it can't spit it back out. So you need to specify to frame reader that you wanted to send information back out. So you say broadcast, so the RIP updates uh, can be propagated to the other routers. Because remember, we just did RIP, we just enabled RIP, so we want the other routers to be able to 
get that information. So broadcast. So that's uh, router three is set up. Now we go to R1, and you can see serials three zeros over here. So into that interface, serial three zero encapsulation frame relay. Um, then frame relay map RP destination RP address is ten dot zero dot zero dot one. The del C number is uh, ninety eight. Oops, make sure you do for space. And then once again, I told you about broadcast, so you want to do that again. And the reason I'm going to be do I'm going to be doing this four times, just so it's kind of repetitive, so you can kind of see it in your head. And I, I suggest if you if you're learning about frame relays, just set up like a long line of routers, just like I've done here, and just just go to every single router and just do it again and again and again and again, just so it sticks. Because the more work you do, the the more you'll remember this stuff. So um, now we're going to go to the other side of the router, which is serials uh, two. So SE two zero, and then you want to say um, encapsulation frame relay again. Okay, frame relay, and you want to say um, then you want to map right. Okay, another thing I want to mention while I've got you here. So you say encapsulation frame relay, and um, then. Uh, the connection between this router, this router which is a DTE router, and this router which is a DTE router, um, there's two types of encapsulation. There's Cisco and IETF. So, say for instance your local DTE router is using is a Cisco router. By default, it's going to use Cisco. Say the the remote uh, DTE router is a non-Cisco router. The chances of it using the Cisco encapsulation are very small. So, it's probably going to use IETF. And for these two DTE routers to communicate over the uh, cloud, which is the DCE uh, service provider, uh, they have to have the same type of encapsulation. Now, um, I haven't specified which I want because by default it is um, it is Cisco, so they 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 will both work. So, but it but my my point is if if you ever put in a position where the remote DTE router isn't a Cisco router, make sure that, that your local Cisco router is set to IETF along with the remote uh, DTE router. Okay, I know that's a lot of words, but um, I hope you grasp that. So back to the challenge. So frame relay, map, IP, the destination IP address, which is 209.168.1.2, and the local Del C number, is 102 which has local significance and broadcast to get those rip updates out okay then let's go over to this router which is our final router for uh, doing the static frame relay select the interface which is int se20 once again all the information is over here and now uh, another thing I want to mention to you uh, this local loop over here between your local DTE router and your service provider which would be over here so let me just put this in over here. So this is your DTE, okay, because it's local to you. Um, this is your uh, DCE, which is your service provider over here, okay. So this local loop, um, right over here is your link management interface. And there's three uh, types of encapsulations that work on, on this um, local loop. Uh, by default on Cisco routers, it's Cisco. Um, there's also ANSI and Q. Uh, dot 933a um, by our default it's Cisco so we're just going to leave it at that I just thought I'd point it out to you um, and it's good to know the distinguishing uh, it's good to be able to distinguish between uh, the encapsulation uh, Cisco and uh, IETF and the, the uh, LMR um, ANSI um, Cisco and Q.933a okay so let me uh, just show you how to map this quickly. So you want to say encapsulation frame relay. Then you want to say frame relay map RP um, destination RP address, which is 209.168.1.1. The local Del C number, which is 201. And remember, um, these Del C numbers will be um, given to you by your service provider when you when you want to set up. Um, when you want to set this up, oh, hang on a sec. I just want to 
So no frame relay and then frame relay. Oh, and the reason it's saying address is already in map over here is because there's a thing called inverse op and basically it's like uh op in the sense that okay so op what op does is it uh, if, is it sorry what op does is it um binds your your uh host's mac address to an ip address what inverse op does is it binds uh your um ip address to the local dulce or rather the destination ip address to the local dulce okay and let me show you what i mean by that so if you go show frame relay uh, map you can see here 209 where is that 209.168.1.1 which is 209.168.1.1 is mapped to Delsi 201 which is Delsi 201 and you're broadcasting the uh, and using Cisco um, the encapsulation Cisco okay now finally what we want to do is we want to set up the cloud Okay, so I'm going to work a little bit quicker now because I've only got three minutes. So this interface is serial 01. Okay, so serial uh, 1 is 89, DLC 89. Uh, it connects R3 to R1. So R3 to R1 and add serial 0. Click over here, serial 0, look for 98. And um, this connects R1 to R3 r1 to r3 add that now you want to come over to frame relay uh, select serial 1 and serial 1 connects r3 to r1 so r3 to r1 serial 0 connects r1 to r3 so just add that then come over to this this cloud over here click on um, config serial 0 look over here serial 0 uh, this is Delsi 102 and, and this connects uh, router R1 to R2 add um, and then this then you want to go to serial 1 and this is Delsi 201 201 and this connects uh, router R2 to R1 add and this should work so let's come into this PC over here and we want to ping uh, 192.168.2.1 destination host unreachable <laughs> okay I'm gonna pause this for a second and I'll get right back to you okay I'm back so I figured out what the problem was uh, when I had created so on this cloud over here I hadn't activated frame relay remember I was showing you how to add it and I didn't push add so that's why it didn't work so let's go back over here so serial 0 is R1 to R2 which is correct and serial uh, 1 is R2 to R1 so this should work now let's see go over here and let's try that ping again and this it works let's try ping uh, this PC over here which is PC2 so ping 192.168.3.0 oops I mean not 3.0 3.1 reply okay so as you can see uh, it's pretty easy to make a mistake and I'm glad I actually made that mistake so I could show you how to do a little bit of troubleshooting although I didn't really show you I kind of just paused it and went ahead and did it myself but um, it's very easy to make mistakes in uh, in this type of field so it's also really good to have good troubleshooting skills so I hope you learned something from this tutorial um, please rate please subscribe leave comments um, if you want to subscribe if you want to subscribe that'll be great but uh, rating and leaving comments are uh, very helpful to me thank you very much